Howdy folks, well, I'm the coffee and tools. Uh, this is Thursday, so new tool Thursday. New tool this week is the Speedout Pro. I don't know if it's any better than the Speedout as seen on TV. But Lowe's carries this right now, so that's where you can get it. But let's see if it's any good. I did something here and I'll show you, there, there's, I got these right here. And I got three screws. Now the reason I did it this way was I've got a soft one, uh, con, pro contractor grade screw, and a I guess we we'll call it a consumer construction screw. It's sort of a should have done it in order, but uh, that was the way they went in, and I stripped the head so I can't get them out, kind of thing. Because <clears throat> that's what this is all about. Yeah. So we're gonna see if this tool is any good and give it the give it the uh, the go or the not no go. And just see. According to this, uh, 10 seconds to get them out of there. So I think we got a little liberal time situation going on there with the writers. Uh, but uh, sure, 10 seconds, whatever. Also says any drill. So we picked uh, the Craftsman brushless half inch drill. Or, you know, gotta have some tools. You know. And we'll get this out of the package and then we'll get started. This is a two stage situation. There's like a weird drill at the top of these things and then on the bottom is the reverse thread that will grab supposedly the head of the screw and pull it out. So we're gonna see if that's what we can do. Comes in a nice carrying case, which, uh, or storage case, that's pretty cool. So the, uh, according to the instructions, which are pretty basic, you can see, it's uh, <clears throat> just drill it with the extractor, hit it with the bit and take the screw out. So we're gonna see. Well, the first thing we need to do is find, uh, we're going to hit this little guy first, it's just a nice small screw, so that way we know we'll just use the smallest one here. And there's the little drill bit or whatever, so we'll <clears throat> yeah, alright, so we'll drill a screw out. Okay, we've got a problem already. I wonder if that's reverse. Oh. Didn't say, yeah it is. Okay, it's reverse, it's reverse drill. Okay, well, whatever, let's try that. Yeah, that's not working either. This is all tearing up. Yeah. Yeah, well, this is what I've heard about these kits, but I uh, thought, you know, worth a try. And it stinks. It's getting hot and it stinks. Well, that's not good. Let's let's give her some more shot here. And I'm kind of losing my faith here real quick. Let's for the heck of it, let's turn this thing around and just see if we have any gripping power, but I doubt it. But now according to this, to extract, obviously you're gonna to try to back the screw out, so of course, there isn't enough hole there for the meat, so that's not good. Uh, wow. Well, let's try it on the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's take it to the next level, shall we? <laughs> yeah, and so let's see. We need to go backwards. Yeah, it shows the rotation as being reverse uh, drill out with these bits. So, yeah, we'll try it. Well, again, I can't seem to drill the screw with these things because they don't have enough, uh, don't have enough edge to them or something. This is already turning quickly into a bust. Yeah, you, sit, you guys seeing this, it's, it's not really working. Let's see if we, uh, yeah, see that's, that's not even gonna grab. Let's go and I'm gonna up the game, go to the next size and see if that'll at least go in there. Mm, that's not gonna work either. Let's have a look at these and just see. 
which way these, yeah, these are set up so that they're actually uh, reverse on the drill in order to drill the, drill them out. That's, that's a little weird, but yeah, okay, you know. And, okay, we'll try the big one here and we'll see if we can't do something. I see some smoke and some heat. Gee, maybe you should have used cutting oil before you put these things in. Well, let's see if we can't cool it down some more. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to turn it around and see if it's going to. Yeah. See if it'll grab the screw and haul it out of there for me. All right. It's even burned up on the. I think if you had a good high speed drill bit, made your hole first and then used this, maybe, but but even this is starting to, uh, yeah, it's starting to strip out. And this is still not even the hardest screw I've got here. This is the hardest screw. I'm not even going to try attempt it. There's no point. This is soft. This is like, say, consumer grade uh, construction screw. The soft screw didn't even want to drill. So, oh, wow. Well, there you go. Uh, the next time you go to Lowe's or Home Depot and you see some of these speed extractors, uh, save your money. Yeah, uh, this can go pretty much right in the trash. It's burning up on some of the softest screws I have. I wouldn't want to hit it with anything that's a real screw. I, you know, really fail to see the, the use of these things. That's pretty sad. In the old days, old school, you know, we would get a pair of vice grips and do our best to grab a hold of the head of the screw and lock the vice grips on that, like I'm doing right here, right now. And get yourself a decent quality too. Don't 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 buy uh, you know junk. Vice grips, and we'll just say that. Uh, Actually, let's try this. Let's see if this will work. I, there might be enough meat in there to still... There we go. Yeah, that one's not coming out the easy way. That's all right. Something, uh, something pretty bad going on there. The softest screw, I picked that screw because it's a cheap, uh, soft metal Chinese screw. We can't even get it out of there with that crazy set. So that's, that's pretty sad. And the consumer grade uh, screw, I thought maybe, you know, we might have a little struggle, we should be okay with it. The contractor screw, or contractor grade construction screw here, I'm, I got it out with the, uh, yeah, with the impact gun, but I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even try this. You know, don't even, you know, I wouldn't even bother. The thing is, when you watch this show, see, I saved you money. <laughs> And go buy yourself, you know, get yourself a nice pair of vice grips and really a scrap piece. This has been a one of those days. It's just been a bust. It's like it happens. But I try to share with you guys and show you sometimes the failures that happen. Especially on YouTube. A lot of times the camera starts rolling and things just go sideways on you. And it's like that one day where everything goes sideways on you. But anyway. Uh, hopefully we try to save you some money and uh, yeah there's the packaging again take a good look not recommended here at coffee and tools at all and uh, hey thanks for viewing thanks for watching thanks for liking and sharing and subscribing guys and uh, man we will see you again with another new tool on next Thursday but meantime over and out